Oh, welcome back to another uh, episode of Old School Programming. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be uh, doing a comparison of speeds for the bubble sort. Uh, and I have a comparison little PowerPoint that I'll do at the end just to show the times that it took. Now, before I continue, let me tell you that I am using a 16 inch MacBook Pro um, that I with the M1 chip, the M1 Pro, right? Uh, I like to use this laptop now that I have it. I also use a Dell uh, Windows computer sometimes when I have to, because I use uh, 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 Windows programs as well. But today I'm going to do this in my Apple computer. Uh, let me tell you something. Here I'm, I'm having to use uh, DOSBox and the reason I use DOSBox is because it is compatible with my back. Uh, I tried uh, other solutions, but this one happens to work very well. In addition to that, I also have Windows 11. Yeah, here it is. Microsoft Windows 11 working on a Mac. I'm using this through Parallels. So in the future, if you want me to do a video about Parallels, let me know. But basically, I I purchase a license for Parallels and then I install Windows 11 and I can have the best of both worlds. I have my Windows 11 or I can use my Mac software, whichever I want to do. So obviously it works with uh, yeah, as, as a, a virtual, um, um, in virtual memory, right? Uh, you can also use VMware if you want to. I just chose Parallels because that's the one I like personally. So let me minimize my Windows 11 because I'm not going to do anything in it. And here's my DOS box. And when it comes to checking for speed, I know a lot of uh, very good programmers out there, people that do this way better than me, automatically try to do the fastest solution and the fastest algorithms for all these things. And they go get the fastest hardware. I'm not going to do that. Uh, there's a lot of good videos out there for that if that's what you want to do and here what i want to do is bubble sort for a thousand records all integers and i'm going to do it in different uh, operating systems and a bubble sort is not the fastest sorting solution but that's not what i'm going for what i want to do is compare the same sort in different operating systems so you can see the difference uh, and i have a table that will show all the differences now as you can see here i have my dos box and i already have some GW basic quick basic and all that. I'm gonna do the GW basic first. I'm not gonna run the sorting in front of you because in GW basic, for example, it takes like 10 minutes to do this. And I don't want you to go through 10 minutes looking at the screen. So I'm gonna load bsort.bas. And here is the listing right there. It is a thousand random numbers. I what I do is I I declare my array of a thousand records. I put random numbers in it, and I print the time, sort it out, print the time again, and then you know just display the difference in times. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not trying to save space nor a better algorithm in one than another. I'm not doing any of that. I I really don't want to do that. I wanted it to be as close as I could to compare apples with apples. And then this is the screen that I have. Don't worry about the text right now, the, the commands and the syntax and all that. I will do that in a little bit later in my PowerPoint. So let me get out of here. I'll do system to get out. I'm gonna to go to Quick Basic, Quick Basic 4.5. And I'm going to open up Bubble Sword. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And then here it is. It's the same, same algorithm. I'm going to generate a thousand records and I'm going to print the time before and after the sorting. And as you can see on the screen, it's the main program. If I want to see the sub that is actually generating the, the random numbers, um, I can go to subs. Here's where I generate my random numbers. No big deal. And if I want to do the uh, sorting, there's my sorting, it's a bubble sort, nothing fancy. You know, I'm just doing this. I'm not gonna run the program right now. Again, I'm just gonna show you this. Uh, we also, I also decided to do this in Turbo Pascal. Uh, 
I was surprised with uh, Pascal, the speech that it made, but I know I'll go over those in a, in a few minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and open. And I'm going to my programs and there's my bubble sort and there it is, my bubble sort. Uh, I have to use both the CRT and the DOS uh, unit. Here's my array, my variable. Here's my bubble sort. Again, I print the time, do the sort, and print the time again. And then I, this is a procedure to generate the random numbers. Nothing fancy. And here's my main program. Clear the screen, generate the random, and do the bubble sort. Nothing fancy. So far, so good. Okay, let me exit. Now we're gonna do the C, the Turbo C++ implementation. And I'm going to, and uh, there it is. And I'm actually put it on the screen as something that they did. <clears throat> and here's my sorting of a thousand records. I, I have to include all these libraries, uh, STDIO, standard lib, Kaneo, time, and string. And uh, they don't, they're not, they won't affect the time at all. So I just need them for other purposes. Then my uh, procedures in this case will be the populate array in my bubble sort. Of course, there are functions in C++, they just return nothing, they're voids. And here's my uh, array, here's my main function. I use the randomize, I clear the screen, generating, populating, and my bubble sort. Here's my populating. Nothing fancy, put a thousand numbers in my array. And here's my bubble sort. Again, I print the time, I do the array and I print the time again. This program, uh, all of these programs work by the way. I don't have to, I'm not gonna show you the results because it's a thousand records on the screen. Now, any programmer that's experienced out there and if you've never heard this before, uh, I hope you take advantage of what I'm saying. No matter how good of a programmer you are, and no matter how many times you have done a procedure, always test your work, uh, no matter what. Even if you've done a bubble sword a thousand times, always make sure it works. So what I've done with all these bubble swords and all these languages, I did it for 50 records. I print them on the screen, and then I sort them, and I print them on the screen again. Make sure they were sorting. I want to make sure they work. Then I took that out because I really don't want to see all those numbers on the screen. And then I do it for a thousand numbers, you know, instead of 50. But I want to make sure that they are working. So uh, that's what I did with the uh, Pascal, the C, and the basic and the GW basic. You know, I want to make sure they're working. And I want to make sure that uh, they print correctly. But I took all the printing options out. And I, I just want to do the times because that's what I really wanted to do. I'm going to exit now, I'm gonna exit of DOS. And this is what um, I came up. Now my GW basic, what I did here is the same text, uh, the same uh, file, okay? I'd copy the file and I only put in yellow the actual part where the sorting is. And that is um, and in GW basic starting with line 80. I printed sorting time. I put in the time in minutes and seconds. I sorted a thousand records and then I printed the time again. The rest of the code is just for the program to work. And to the right is the screenshot of the DOS box. So generating a thousand numbers. And I started, since I'm only doing minutes and seconds because I don't want to see the difference. You can see uh, it was at uh, 9.28 uh, PM. And then I ended up at, um, I'm sorry, at 20, it was at 21 minutes and 28 seconds when I started and 32 minutes and 35 seconds when I ended. So GW basic took 11 minutes and seven seconds. But again, and I put this here as a disclaimer, to be fair, GW basic is only an interpreter, right? It doesn't compile. Now here's the quick basic version of it. It's the same code, identical, except you know there's no numbers because it's quick basic. Uh, here is the highlighted part where I'm, printing everything. And of course, the sorting now is done in a procedure, but no big deal. And sorting is right below. Uh, and here it took 20 seconds to sort a thousand integers. 20 seconds. Big improvement over the previous 11 minutes to 20 seconds. I mean, that alone is fantastic. Now I compiled this program uh, 
in Quick Basic using inside my DOS box. Again, I'm using my DOS box for all of my examples right now. Then I did this in, in uh, Pascal. Again, I highlighted the part where I put the minutes and seconds and I sorted bubble sort and I put the minutes and seconds again. And I was very surprised with the speed that I got. I mean, uh, Turbo Pascal took three seconds to sort a thousand integers in the compiled version. Not bad. It was really, really good. I mean, uh, it's, it's amazingly fast. So cannot complain with that. I mean, started with 11 minutes, went to 20 seconds and I'm down to three seconds. Now, this was a surprise. This is the C++ implementation. Don't worry about all the includes and all that. It's just for the program to work correctly, to obtain the time and all that. It doesn't add any time to the program because I'm only getting the time before and after the array is sorted. So no big deal. And again, I made sure that it was sorting and it was sorting correctly. I just not. Then I deleted those printing options out. So. And uh, I didn't want to spend time separating the minutes and seconds, so I printed the whole date time as it gives it to me in C++. And it took also three seconds to sort a thousand records. I was really, really surprised. I'm not sure what I was more surprised that C++ was not faster than Pascal or that Pascal was as fast as C++. Uh, it, it is really, really fast uh, for a thousand records. And again, uh, very good for Pascal. So now, here's something that I did different. Uh, these are cores, uh, Turbo C and QuickBase and all that. These are all, all, all languages. They're, they haven't changed. They work perfectly. And you can do applications in them. And I like them because you can learn the basics of everything. But we are, we are in the year 2021, and we do use faster computers. And languages have evolved, you know? just like VB.net. Yes, it is a language in its own right. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, but it's basics. I mean, it comes from, its core is from basic. You know, that's where it all started. That's why it's VB from Visual Basic .net. So, but Visual Basic .net does not work on Mac. Uh, they don't have that um, Visual Studio, even though they do have a Mac version, you have to have an Intel base uh, back for it to work. It does not work on my M1 uh, machine. So even if I did install it, I would only do programs in C sharp. Nonetheless, good enough, but I didn't want to do that. So instead I'm using a Jojo. Jojo, X-O-J-O, -O, Jojo, is a basic implementation. It's equivalent to the BB.net, but with uh, a few good things that I like. For example, that it works on my Mac, and Jojo will compile for Windows, Raspberry, Mac, Linux. I mean, it's a very, very complete uh, uh, program. And this program I will actually run in front of you right now, but I want you to see uh, the screen because it is a visual implementation. Obviously it is a now operating system. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, a programming language. It is a now programming language. I created a screen, I put some text. Now you're gonna notice right away that I put in two list boxes, the original array and the bubble sort array. The reason I put it in here, remember in, in, earlier in the video, I said, you gotta make sure that it works. This thing was so fast that I wasn't sure it was sorting or putting the, <laughs> the thousand records in the array. It just did it so fast. Here's the code. You know, from zero to zero nine nine nine. Here's my bubble sort, and I'm printing, and I'm doing here what's called ticks. And the reason I'm using ticks is because it is so fast. When I first ran this program, it said it was taking zero seconds. You heard me right, zero seconds. And of course, all that meant is that either it wasn't doing what I was it was supposed to be doing, or it was just doing it faster than a second, which it happens, and it did happen. And so I used ticks in. Jojo, a tick is one sixtieth of a second. So 60 ticks equals one second. And Jojo did this sorting in seven ticks. So I went from 11 minutes to 20 seconds to three seconds to seven sixtieths of a second. I mean, this is amazingly fast. So what does Jojo look like? Well, let's minimize my screen and let's open up Jojo. Here's my bubble sort. 
And um, here's the screen. And like I said, this is like bb.net, you know, on steroids, I guess you can call it. Here's my array. I'm just, just simple, that's my array, no big deal. Here's my start, this is where I, where I initialize and, and put my thousand records on my array, you know, no big deal. And here is my um, button sort code. And here's where I actually do the uh, sorting and calculate the times. So it's very, very straightforward. Let me run this for you. So, because it's so fast, I'm not having no problem running this. I'm going to run. And uh, that's what it looks like. Obviously, the sort, the original array is right here. There's a thousand records all in random. And I'm going to click sort. And boom, there it is. Six ticks took this time. And there is just to make sure that it was uh, sorted, right? I, I Again, I put these arrays there because I wasn't sure it was sorting, even though I was very sure of my work. But it was so fast. I wanted to demonstrate to you that it's actually doing something, and that is a JoJo programming. I'm going to be doing more more uh, videos on JoJo because it is uh, what I'm currently using, and I really really like their development. Um, and I'll be doing videos on how to create windows and putting elements and and uh, and all of that. You know, no no nothing fancy, or maybe I will get a little fancy. I don't know. It depends on the time. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. I just wanted you to see the difference, even though uh, it's a very simple bubble sort. Uh, the new um, operate, uh, the new operating systems are so fast, the new computers are very fast, and the programming languages they just keep getting better and better. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learn something from it. Uh, give JoJo a try. JoJo is completely free to try, and you can run it and compile on your computer as many times you want to. If you want to uh, make money with your program and put it on the Apple Store or put it on the Windows Store, or wherever it is, I don't know, wherever you want to sell it, well, that's another story. If you want to compile it and sell it to a, a customer, well, then you got to buy the JoJo. But uh, again, they, they're not that expensive. Uh, but you can always try and do and do all your programs and do what I just did and I have not spent a single cent on this uh, uh, programming language, which is very, very good. And it has its roots in basic. Anyways, thank you very much. And uh, you know what to do if you like this. Thank you.